what is going on guys trey here and i'm back with another video providing you guys drop shipping knowledge now before we get started we all know q4 is getting around the corner we're just days away before the quarter four season and quarter four is the most profitable season for your drop shipping store and one of the most important things you need to have is a great supplier fulfilling all your orders that you will be attaining during the quarter four season and so in this video, I'll be talking about how to exactly fulfill a live order in the DSers app, guys. Now, I did do another video about how to fulfill and navigate in DSers, but I'm going to be showing you guys a live example in this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Before we get started, as you guys know, we put out these calls each and every single week for providing you guys drops for knowledge. So if you want to guys want to go ahead and learn more, DM us the word YouTube at either underscore AC Hampton or at Supreme underscore Ecom on Instagram. Now let's go and actually get into this video about how to fill an order through the Ezra's app. Now right here, you have just got your first order. Congratulations. Now you're wondering how do I actually fill these orders? Well, step number one is actually go to the orders tab in your Shopify store right here. Then you want to go and actually double check to see if your customer's information is correct and then they actually have provided you the payments. Now make sure also as well, if there's any fraudulent activity going on, Shopify will notify you that there's been some fraud activities going on and they'll let you know that the risk is medium or high and what actions you need to take for the next thing to make sure that order is correct. But right here, I want to go ahead and scroll down, look to the right, see the shipping address, make sure it's correct information for the customer and also too as well see right here it says make sure the customer has actually got a confirmation email from ordering your product right here and it should be sent as you guys see right here so now i have checked out on shopify now i want to go ahead and go to this app section right here and go to dsers right here and click into it now let's go ahead and actually get into this app right here at dsers first things first you're going to go and actually scroll down to where it says open orders Next, right here, you want to go and actually see a waiting order. Then you scroll down. There has been no shipping method attached to this yet. So you have to actually go ahead and select a shipping method. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down right here and click on shipping method. Now, next one, there's going to be a standard there's shipping times. There's going to be another shipping method from the seller. And there's also going to be DHL. Now you want to go and actually make sure you're selecting the free shipping option for your product right here. And I go ahead and click on confirm. Now I actually have a shipping method attached to this particular product. Now the next thing you want to actually go ahead and click on save because you don't want to lose any progress from this. So I click on save and then I click on order. Now the next thing is you want to go ahead and make sure this is the correct order. Make sure it's this correct product and the correct price, right? So now I have that and I click on confirm. Now while the order is being in place, next I want to go and actually go to a waiting payment to the right tab because you do have to pay for your product guys. Your cost of goods is from your supplier, so you have to go ahead and pay for your product. So then what I wanna go ahead and do, make sure this is the correct order, because if you have multiple orders, it can get confusing, so make sure you're working with the correct order you have just received. So right here, I have this order number. I click on this little check marks, and I click on make payments. Before I make a payment, you wanna go ahead and make sure you're logged into an AliExpress account. You can use the same exact email you have created when you made your Shopify store, for your AliExpress account. But I've already been logged in, as you guys see right here. So then right here is paying a waiting payment. Then I have to go and actually click on pay now, and the total is 1660. I go and actually hit the pay. I have the option to go and add a card, or I can have the option to go ahead and hit PayPal. If you have a PayPal account, which is highly suggested to your Shopify store, make sure you have the same exact PayPal account connected to your store, to your AliExpress link, so you can make sure you have the funds taken out or in into there. So then I have PayPal. I then click on PayPal and I go ahead and confirm the transaction of that order. So after I have made the payment, the next step is actually it will go to the answers of waiting shipment. So everything you have done and fulfilling that order is completed and you do not have to do anything else. Now, I definitely highly recommend that you're keeping up to date with some supporters because we all know the quarter four season does get hectic. There's a lot of products and there's a lot of shipment and some things might get lost. So this is why it's very important to make sure you have good communication with your supplier going forward. So make sure that your customers are happy and receiving their uh, product on time as well. After you have made the payment right here, it will be going to the waiting shipment. 
once you actually have received this awaiting shipment, you will actually have live tracking status of your product. So you can go ahead and provide real updates to your customer. So if they're asking any questions upon where their order is, this is a section you'll go and actually provide them details. Once that has actually been shipped out, then it's gonna go and actually say awaited fulfillment, which means once it's fulfilled, that means the customer has actually received the product. And once the customer has then received the product, the next status, it will say fulfilled. So that lets you know exactly, not only have you gotten paid out, but then also too as well, the particular customers that have received the product. Now there might be some issues going on with some products sometimes during a Q4 holidays or shipment, and actually the answers will let you know exactly if it's been canceled or it has been a failed order. It'll let you know if the customer's payment did not go through, or essentially there's something going on with the shipping tracking to let the customers know what is going on. The answers will go ahead and provide you all the information with live updates as well. Not only that, if any customer is asking for a refund or they're canceling orders, it will go and actually be presented in the DSers tab right here about having a canceled order. Not only that, if your customer is asking for an invoice, you want to actually go back to Shopify right here, and then you want to go and actually hit more actions, and then go and actually hit view order status. So you can go ahead and give actually real updates and an invoice for your customers if they're asking for exactly, hey, I have not received confirmation of my order or it has not been sent to my email, you can also go ahead and actually provide them a screenshot of the invoice and send to the email or you can actually go ahead and go back to Shopify and scroll down and also resend the email that was actually sent to that particular email so they can actually have another order confirmation just to make sure. Now you also wanna go ahead and just double check with the customer that they have actually received the information when you actually send the updated invoice to them right here and there. It does say notification sent, but you have to go ahead and confirm with the customer so they are happy and you're getting great reviews for your particular store. Not only that, it gives you exactly timeline. It says one minute ago, 14 minutes ago, of when the, actually the order invoice was created and exactly when it was actually sent out to the customer. So you now have exactly live updates to provide to the customer of when it was actually created and when it's actually been sent out. The next thing, if any customer is asking for a return of their order, you can actually go ahead and click on this return items section right here and then you can actually go ahead and create a return label from your customer for them to send it back to a particular address so they can actually receive the product and you have to go ahead and provide them exactly that pricing of the product back to the bank account, which you can do right here and there. Create the return and the process is fairly simple. You have to follow the exact steps and it can be seamlessly for the customer and for you as well. And that right there guys, is exactly how you go ahead and fulfill a live order for the Yesers app and go ahead and actually make sure the customer's information is correct from Shopify and DSers, how to fulfill, how to make the payment, and actually make sure it's actually really fulfilled for the customer to receive notification of the invoice for your particular product. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we always give out a free consultant call to one lucky winner who's able to go ahead and get on one call with us with one of the Supreme Con members, learning anything and everything about your store. I'm talking about how to build a product page, how to go to find ads, how to actually go ahead and just build out your particular fulfillments and anything else you need to know, drop shipping knowledge so you can go, go crazy for the Q4 season. And then winner of the live free consultant call is Fabian Gaddis. You heard it correctly, Fabian. Go ahead and make sure you reach out to us at supreme underscore ecom and reach out so you can go ahead and get your free free consulting call and so you can go and go crazy for the Q4 season and making sure you are able to go ahead and obtain assess for your store. That's it for me today, guys. Trey Benson here and I'm out. When you got it like that Like Jake said, we gon' spend it, get it right back Stack that internet money to the site crash They on 